Welcome to this Zen introduction lecture. This is the complete modern set. It has been CO2 laser engraved and hand painted on mushroom paper. Each picture is accompanied by a verse of eight lines. Born out of separation. Years have gone by in an instant. Committed to identification. Every step becomes an act of separation. A personality grown out of fragmentation. Actively cherry picking some traits. Passively accepting some constraints. Always trying to be special. Never being able to fill the void. Imagining connections. Shaped by consumption. Choices seem endless. Polished by habits. Routines satisfy easily. Seasonal change. Is rather insignificant. The three human hurdles. Are not conceivable. Finding junctions. Recurring events. Recurring themes. Faster forwards, faster towards. Cracks within the inertia of habit. A time of unwished for change. Unable to hold on firm. Giving up some of the me. Accepting a new situations. Perceiving some of the you. Discovering axes. In the hassle of life, some things are forced. As families grow, new center points emerge. Seeds of compassion, germination in loopholes, taproots crossing families, deepening the roots of caring. Perceiving polarities. The way of the narrow. Summons hardship anew. The wisdom of the elder. Finds value again. Sleepless nights. Joyful days. Generational change. A treacherous bliss. Accepting unity. As winter is coming. A plum flower blossoms. The true nature of things. A secret hidden in plain sight. Ignorance, greed, and anger. Distant for a brief moment. The rapture of sharing. Rings in an empty mind. Dissolving into unity. The soul and the body. A miracle and a mirage. The self and the other. Two sides of one coin. Acceptance without demur. Giving without requisition. The life of the sage. Simple as day and night. Abandoning dissolving. The abstinence of preferences. Forms the way. The renunciation of polarities. Makes it great. The dark beyond dark. Makes it empty. The teaching of the Dharma. Makes it walkable. Embracing all embracing. To argue or to quarrel. Means having lost it. To talk without talking means having found it a silent room but full of sound an empty mind but full of joy using separation only a teaching can be taught some means must be caught skillful constructed realities the separation of emptiness 
a self-absent-minded smile. Only bound to caring kindness. Who would have thought that the great way is so close? Here is an overview of the complete painting with the arrangement order of the set. This is what the painting looks like when hung on the wall. In this final chapter, I will provide you with some insights into the key concepts of Zen philosophy by elucidating some key points in verses of the modern version. Separation This is the main characterization that rules over our common and mundane world of red dust. It can be accompanied by the seeking of fullness. It is in sharp contrast to the aspect of unification that can be accompanied with the seeking of emptiness. As it will turn out, emptiness and fullness are both just two sides of one coin. Emptiness is fullness and fullness is emptiness. This realization is one of the main goals of the ox herding tale, which is emphasized at the end by the dissolving of both the subject and the object. It turns out that there never was an ox to begin with. Habit this refers to the habit energy that binds our constructed self together. If we are unable to let go and empty ourselves to open up for liberating wisdom, we become trapped in the same old behavior patterns and judgmental thought processes, growing old and rigid in our ways. 3. Human Hurdles This refers to the challenges that everyone encounters in life. The typical sequence is old age, illness, and death. However, as each person is unique, some may experience illness at an early age. Many significant stories begin with a parent's death, establishing a backdrop of adversity and misfortune that sets the stage for a narrative of struggle toward happiness and success. Since these tales take place in the world of red dust and focus on the mundane, happiness and success are frequently associated with material possessions and family values, which align with the foundations of capitalist culture. Recurring. This refers to the concept of karma and our existence in time. Since we hold firmly onto our beliefs and cannot let go of the bull, we do not find liberation but are instead reborn again and again. This reincarnation happens for better or for worse, depending on the acts that we perform during our lifetime. The ox herding tale tries to point us beyond this concept and instead to see it as a skillful means that can help us to restrain the bull. The instantaneous elimination of accumulated bad karma is possible since karma only exists as long as one distinguishes between cause and effect, joy and burden, good and bad. All one has to do is see one's nature. The ox herding tail is the finger that is pointing to the moon. When you can grasp that every junction is also pointing to the same one moon, then it is because you have already freed yourself from attachment to the bull. This may have happened in this or in a previous life. All you have to do is maintain or regain this freedom from attachment. Seeds of Compassion In many schools of thought, the act of compassion and including aspects of charity in one's life is considered a universal value in spiritual work. Perceiving the world through the eyes of another person, particularly someone in need, is often seen as one of the first steps in separating ourselves from our self-created separation from others. Since blood is thicker than water, this process often starts when the self must care for its offspring. Center Points Since our self is a constructed reality that is only inhabited by us, it needs an anchor. These are the unexpressed points our train of thought circulates around. If left alone, some people always come back to how much money they currently have, others hover back to how many followers they have, and others think about what their children might be doing right now. There is one thought that is powerful enough to end all other thoughts, but in order to find it, one needs to strengthen one's power of compassion. Polarities Separation is possible because everything in this world is interconnected, everything depends on everything else. There are polarities all around us, as there is nothing in existence without an equal opposition. However, if we look carefully, our careful looking becomes superficial at the corners of our field of vision. For instance, while the birth of a child marks a joyful moment in our life, we tend to overlook that generational change is a two-way street. 
The three human hurdles also have an opposite and are the main drives for human liberation that can bring about a life full of fierce happiness. Plum flower. This refers to the circumstance that the plum flower is the first flower to emerge in spring. Since this may happen during harsh winter snow, it is a symbol of resilience and perseverance in the face of adversity. Ignorance, greed, anger. This refers to the three poisons that dilute our mind and enable the separation created through the use of our six senses. In order to counter the negative influence of these poisons, the recommended antidote is to cultivate thoughts and actions that focus on the six perfections. Anger can be overcome through the practice of forbearance and vigor. Greed can be overcome through the cultivation of charity and morality. Delusion can be overcome through the development of wisdom and meditation. Giving without requisition. This refers to the one thought that is born out of charity and brings to life the aspiration that one should liberate others without being attached to them. This can be reformulated as giving a gift without perceiving it as a gift, a donor, or a receiver. This is the wisdom aspect of Zen, with the primary goal of helping us achieve a state of enlightenment or awakening, in which we have a deep understanding of our true nature, reality, and the self. As it happens, there is only our true nature, and there is no self, being, life, or soul. One can condense the whole teaching into two words that will form the center of the following pictures, not two. The Great Way This refers to a way that is big enough to contain everything, which is why it is called great. But if one formulates it as a way, even as a great way, it will still be a concept and thus a means to an end. But following the way and dissolving all polarities, it becomes so small that one has no place left to stand on. That is why it is called the Great Way. This aspect is also emphasized with the Zen circle, which is empty inside. Charity is what helps the traveler to not get lost on their way towards the darkness behind the dark and light polarity of our deluded mind. Dharma. The root of this word is Sanskrit word dri and means to grasp. Here it is used with the meaning of what is real. To talk without talking. This refers to the saying that the one who talks about it does not have it, and the one who has it does not talk about it. Since it is only charitable to talk about it, one is talking without talking. Since there is nothing to say that hasn't already been said, and one cannot learn anything that isn't already there, all one can do is point towards our true nature and help those who strive to see it, to see it. Using both sides of existing polarities when pointing towards the mind also leads to never leaving the center and choosing a side. Arguing about anything concerning the great way is like giving in to a bull and letting it run loose on formerly cultivated fields. Skillful means. This refers to the idea that separation is not real and that reality is separation. To use what is offered to liberate what does not need liberation without becoming attached to the act of liberation is known as using skillful means. Skillful means can be embraced as the seventh perfection. Since one is not alone in this world, staying alone in a mountain cave far away from the world of mundane concerns becomes an act of separation in itself. Accepting one's fate and using what is offered to transcend it is the message of the ox herding tale. Before we end, I would like to introduce myself to you. Hey. My name is Daniel, I am from Germany, thanks for listening to this lecture. Since the content of this video can be difficult to grasp at times, I've taken an unconventional approach. I've designed the video so that it can also be used as a printable document. This means that you can access and use it offline, or even print out selected pages. With this option, you can use your favorite pen to highlight, add to, or modify the text as you see fit. Now that I have shown you how I interpret the Ox Herding Sutra and my approach to the transformation of the bull, what do you think about it? What is your approach towards Zen? What is your practice, or do you just let the ox run where it wants until it is tired and hopefully gets gentle when it gets old? Please enlighten us with your practice. I do not know when my next Zen art will arrive, but it will come. Maybe it will not interest many, 
but I will create it regardless. To obtain the right paper for my Zen art, I had to put in a lot of work with the mushrooms. However, the time I spend with the mushrooms is minimal compared to the time I devote to Zen. Before we end, I would like to offer my empty bowl to you. I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you want to consider to buy me a coffee? I do mention this unintentionally. There is a serious reason behind it. That is why I ask. In life, there is balance everywhere, summer and winter, day and night, hot and cold, and so on. It's natural that taking and giving is also a polarity that needs to be in balance. Only when there is balance can we, as humans, achieve harmony and genuine happiness. That means if you take something, for example, from the internet, you should give something back. Please check for yourself if your life is in balance. If you'd like, you can support me with a donation, which would be greatly appreciated. Alternatively, you can support any other good project that you believe is worth it. For example, Wikipedia is a great project. And of course, support doesn't necessarily have to involve money. You could send someone a smile, leave a nice comment somewhere, or simply be joyous and spread some love. Thank you, for spending your time with me. Auf Wiedersehen.